This is Jadi, your host for the day, and I'm signing in from Brazil. On the panel today, we have Belo, joining us from Lagos, Nigeria. Let me tell you that Belo has more than eight years of experience in the software industry and has started his career as a mechanical engineer. He has worked on security systems and surveillance projects and is an expert in visual basics, web development, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, amongst others. And today he is going to help us understand what low-code platforms are and how developers can make the most of them in 2022. Let's get started. Hi, Velo. First of all, thanks a lot for joining us today. How are you doing and how has work at Tori been so far for you? Hi, Jay. I'm fine. I'm, 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 it's midday here. I'm, I'm relaxing. Thank you for asking. Great. Looks like you're enjoying the work-life balance at Tori. But before we begin our discussion for the day, could you tell us something more about your journey as a software developer? How and when did you decide to shift to software development from mechanical engineering? Um, I started as, as a I started studying as a mechanical engineer, but then it got boring for me. I needed something more interesting. <laughs> then I, I I did some Google search and, and so found computer science and and software development and I branched into it. Great. And then at last start with our discussion. So Bell, what can you tell us about local development? Um, so local development is a, a software development approach. It's a new software, software development approach that allows people to develop software application or processes where with little or, or no code. So instead of the you know normal or conventional having to we just have drag and drop interfaces that links um that um tell the application what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Interesting. So how can one learn to low code? Um, same way you learn, I think practice. Um, you solve problems, but then incrementally you uh, figure out. You start with creating problems or uh envisioning problems they're trying to solve, and then practice solving that problem with, with no code. But little by little, start with solving small problems then. Incrementally try to become bigger problems that way you can you can learn. Fantastic. It's step by step, right? So well, you told us about what is local development. Could you explain a bit on it and tell us about some of its features? Okay. So um good interface, meaning that's why why do you develop it uh drag and drop? So as opposed to actually writing code, so you build your you build your interface, you build your interfaces uh dragging and dropping elements. You also build your processes dragging and dropping elements. Then uh, API inter API integration uh, is most is mostly what you do with uh, with uh, low code integration with APIs. Um, security comes out of the box. You don't have to worry about security. Uh, then then you are guided through the application life life cycle. Um, application lifecycle uh, process, you are guided through it, you don't have to worry too much about it. And then you also have the visual modeling tool where you can see what you are building as, as you are building it. So it's, it's, uh, in general, you are abstracted away from the actual code. Right, but what about the databases in a low-code platform? Could you elaborate a little on that as well? Yeah, so with with, uh, with databases, you you don't have to worry about uh, SQL SQL being standard query language. You don't have to worry about how you actually query the data. You just have to worry about getting data and how you want to display data. And uh, with local with local platforms, you can just you know interact with graphical interfaces to to achieve that. Interesting. Let us now dive deeper deeper. Sorry into the available local development platforms. So according to you, what are some of the best local development platforms out there? Um, so depending on what you're trying to achieve, we have Microsoft Power Apps, we have Zoho, we have uh, QuickBase, we have APN, we have Mendix for testing, we have Autosystem, we have Salesforce for CRM. There are a lot of them, but I think these are the most common ones that you can find around. Yeah, looks like have a, we have a lot of them, and that was quite insightful. I'm sure this will provide our developers a good idea about the local platforms out there. But I'm sure the confusion persists when picking one of these platforms for a project. 
how then you find the right one that will suit the project? So it's all about what you're trying to achieve. Um, so your your goal is what determines how you pick um the platforms you use. If you are trying to build an application that uses a lot of um database, uh, you're going to want to find a, a platform that that enables you to do you know local database. Um, if you're trying to, if there's going to be, if it's going to be a cross cross platform application, let's say an application that should be on web, mobile, desktop, and all of that, you'd want to get the platform that supports that. If it's supposed to be uh, a web based application, you want to get, you want to get one for that. It's an app based. So depending on what you're trying, what you're trying to um, achieve with the application and the, the requirements of the application, is what you're going to use to determine what what platform to use. Great. Uh, so, well, we have talked about the various features and platforms of local development so far, but this discussion will be incomplete without talking about some of the use cases of local platforms. Could you tell us something about that? Um, so, the, the first one that comes to mind is financial services. Um, so, instead of having to write um, applications all the time for, for you know, calculating mm -hmm. invoices, uh, POS systems, local platform can make you can allow you to just you know build applications fast for that. Um uh, logistic and transportation companies, you know, um for example, if you own a delivery delivery company and I'm building the application from scratch, you can you can just use the local platform for that. Um uh customer service uh satisfaction if you're into, into if you're into business services that you know you're trying to keep your customer satisfied, you want to build an interactive software to, to interact with your customers, your local platform will be the way to go. Um, also your tech team, if you have a uh um if you are if you have a tech IT team and you want them to build a series of applications, you would want them to use some you want them to build some of this application with local because um you don't want them to spend too much time building some applications. Awesome. Well, we've talked about a wide range of topics local development, and now I think it's the right time to talk about why should someone be using a local platform. So, how does this help developers? Does it really make their lives easy? Yeah, it does. Uh, the biggest selling point is higher productivity, uh, because you don't have to spend too much time building stuff. You can, you know, drag and drop um, 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 components makes things it makes building applications faster uh, gives you more time to build it so in turn you have higher productivity when you have higher productivity we have that in turn allows us to transform do digital transformation faster so we since we are able to build applications faster it means we can move from um the conventional way of doing things to digital way of doing things faster then uh that also now enhance this um, customer experience because we are able to build up business faster your customers will be happier and then there's a reduced cost of ownership meaning that when you build an application the cost it takes to maintain the application is not as much as it would if you are if you are the one building from scratch then there's also freedom to your automation so there are, there are big selling points for for local platforms Awesome, this is great. I'm sure this will give our developers a good idea about why to start exploring local platforms. Here, I like to call upon all senior developers who are willing to work remotely with companies in the US. We have jobs in more than 100 technologies, including local. If you are confident about your skill sets, head on to turing.com slash jobs and apply now. This has been a great discussion, Bell, and I think it's time to bring our talk to a close. But before we let you go, could you share with our developers some tips and resources on how they can approach the interviews for local development? Um, so it's to get yourself to the resources. Um, try build more, build more stuff with local because that's the best way to have multiple scenarios to be able to answer questions and um. Yeah, basically, you know, go through resources that talk about local and build most of the local. Yeah, that, that was very helpful. Thanks a lot, Bill, for this insightful session of Dev Talks. I hope our audience enjoyed this discussion as much as I did. And if you have more questions, please feel free to drop us an email at support at touring.com. Let us know in the comments below what you like to learn in the next video and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video and do not forget to subscribe to Turing.com. We'll be back with many such Turing developer stories. 
Until then, stay safe and click on the link in the description below to apply to Turing. Thank you. Thank you, Valo. Bye. Bye.